Hey, what's up everybody? Today I want to talk about connecting a OBD2 scanner to a Mercedes SLK200 R170 from 1999. Now, you'll see what I have in my hand here is actually a Bluetooth OBD scanner. You can pick these up from uh, Amazon for about 10 bucks or more expensive. It's a uh, Bluetooth diagnostic tool that you can connect to your car and read out with your phone. Now, the annoying thing is this version of the car that I have here does not have a standard OBD port. So the standard port looks exactly like that. That's the scanner I have here, so that's the uh, male side and the female side is on the adapter cable. Now if you turn the adapter cable around you can see here there are special pins in there which is a Mercedes connection, so it's not even a standard OBD1. I went out and bought a OBD1 cable thinking that was the right thing to buy. It is not. This is a special Mercedes connection. And if you're curious what that is, it is, in fact, a 38-pin OBD converter for Mercedes. So keep an eye on that. Don't order the wrong one. The next thing you will need is an app installed on your phone and of course a phone that's compatible with Bluetooth. Uh, this app needs to be ELM327 compliant. Now you'll see uh, there's quite a few apps out there on the Android store. I'm not sure what the situation is for iPhone, but I'm using Android here and you can get quite a few different applications to support that. Now normally the OBD connection would be right underneath here. Uh, in most cars, but as you can see there where it is, there's just a plastic placeholder and there's nothing there So in this case we have to pop the hood Now before we go messing around with all the car systems, let's just put the key in and roll one of the windows down So we don't lock ourselves out Here you go. Let's get under the hood. Here we are. Let's pop this open Right there now this car has two additional fuse box boxes right under the hood. Uh, one right there to the right and one right there to the left, which also has your relays and things like that. You actually don't need to open any of these. What we are after is this little cap right here, which houses the OBD scan port. Now you need a 13 hex to get that. And actually it's a uh, simply removable cap. So you just put the hex key on here, make sure we're loosening this. And there you go, you can twist this right off. And that is how it looks from the inside. You'll see this plug has two little rails right there and there, which are also here on the side. So there's only one way that can go in. So what we want to do is align that. There you go. And push it in. And there we have a connect. Now, you can see here I'm getting some power already, uh, but it's not active yet. So we need to twist the key to the on mode for ignition. Uh, no need to start the car unless you want to read some diagnostics. But the only thing is, because this is rather big, we can't actually close the lid up and drive with this. Um, I might see if I can get this bent so I can, because you can get some driving diagnostics, fuel consumption, which is really good to know. But primarily I want to read out error codes. So here we are back in the car. Let's switch the ignition to the on mode. Car's ready. Let's get our app and connect to Bluetooth. So it's gonna give me some ads right there because it's a free app. Um, we want Bluetooth. Yes, allow that. There we go, well I need to switch that on first. Yep, there it starts up. And then we go back to the app. Searching for devices. We don't want Wi-Fi here. Scanning And there we have it OBD2 That's the one we want click next So it's going to try various different protocols connecting It's going to reset the connection and then go through if it asks for a pin they're either four times zero or one, two, three, four. I know that this is one, two, three, four. So the moment it asks for the pin, we can enter that. Actually, I discovered a funny little thing here. Uh, in the prior video, I posted about the car not having an EGR system. Uh, I looked far and wide online to find if that was actually true. Now reading out the computer, 
you can see it can't even find an EGR so that is my final confirmation this car does not have an EGR valve small sidetrack there and here we go we're connected so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to diagnostics because I'm interested in reading out the error codes so looks like I have one code what is that freeze frame mass or volume airflow circuits well actually that sounds really good because I've been having a rough idle problem so this has probably picked up what the problem is so we're not going to diagnose this any further all I really wanted to show you is how you can hook up the diagnostics on this car so if that was helpful to you give this a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and peace out